At Maple Leaf Tavern in Toronto, the Thanksgiving kids are ready to go and doing record business. We've got some roast turkey breast, some smoked turkey sausage. The busiest takeout initiative that, we, that we've ever done. We've sold out over 150 kits. This is one of the ways the restaurant is trying to survive. Customers had trickled back when indoor dining resumed in July. We had our highest sales within the last few weeks. But that all ended Friday when Ontario set a new one-day record of 939 cases. The Ford government re-banned indoor dining and closed other indoor spaces like gyms, casinos and movie theatres for 28 days in three hotspots, Toronto, Ottawa and Peel region. What's that going to look like in the next month? We're not sure. The restaurant says business is down 65% compared to last year, but they are grateful for the community support this Thanksgiving. <laughs> More than 300,000 restaurant workers lost their jobs in the first wave in Ontario alone. Concerns now that the new shutdowns could stress already taxed food banks. One of our programs set a single day uh, record uh, by serving 760 households and majority of them are new clients. Um, they came to us uh, either because of their local food banks uh, were closed or because of their financial situations have changed. And the looming question, what if the restrictions don't bring down the case numbers? On the horizon is Christmas, one of their big seasons in the restaurant industry. And then right after that, New Year's. And I'm sure if I'm a restaurant owner, I'm saying, what is that season going to look like? At Maple Leaf Tavern, they're figuring out new ways to make it through. We uh, were planning on launching a to-go marketplace online. This definitely has accelerated those plans. In this time of incredible uncertainty, remaining flexible may be the only way to survive. Kelda Yoon, CBC News, Toronto.